This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Freaking.com Well, there's not much trash to be seen yet in downtown Portsmouth. But generally, whenever there's going to be a pro-independence uh, demonstration... Outside one of these, I like to at least pick up a token amount of trash. Today's demonstration isn't really designated as a litter pickup slash demonstration. The uh, NH exit activist, popularly known as Derek J, uh, called this demonstration for uh, Portsmouth. New Hampshire, partly because of uh, its convenient location for him, but right after that we learned that the federal building in, uh, in Portsmouth has become the scene of a sometimes bitter dispute between the, the city and the, the feds. And I've been taking whatever chances I can to remind people of what the feds have gotten wrong here. So this is a reminder that we need uh, to be better if we had flyers to hand out. And I guess uh, there are NHIndependence.org flyers. We don't have any of our own. We should probably start stocking up on any NHIndependence.org flyers. Because this is a pretty high traffic area. So, uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to uh, I'm going to follow what I call camera chain protocol here. And I'm going to stay I'm never going to even go onto the right of way of that federal building much less the property. Okay. So if something happens, I'm separated, no one can charge me with anything, and also, if someone bothers you, I can have a completely different angle on it, and they can't bother me at the same time. So okay. That's, that's the protocol that is working out. I don't any bothering. Oh, really I don't think time. so either, yeah. People have flags and signs, and yeah. you know, it's going to be a fun fun time here. What, what's your main goal today, Derek? My main goal today is to do a poll. It's an informal poll that I've created uh, that will be published on nhexit.com about what people think about... You know, do I have the freedom to leave a group if I have joined a group? You know, what sort of freedom do you have to um, go your own way, if you will? So it'll be interesting. I've got three questions printed out. I don't have them by memory, but I'll be able to bring it to you so you can give a quick look at it. And, and then I'll publish the poll. So we've got 100 people that we're going to be interviewing. Brought some extra two-way radios so we can communicate. Would you like one? Oh, no, but thanks. Okay. So I'll make sure that, you know, if anything were to happen, we can let each other know what's going on in places that we can't see. All right, actually, maybe I probably would be the utilitarian person to hand it to now that you mention it. Yeah. Because I will be hard to, to hear. I won't be able to hear you guys from over here very well. well. They are all set to the same frequency, right. so you should be able to hear us. I'll just clip it onto your belt. Oh, okay, here. thanks, Derek. All right. Cool. So that camera chain protocol and the role that I'm filling could be called the Craven role. But uh, it did in result uh, when there was a demonstration uh, outside the police department in Manchester. It resulted in me uh, being the only one. My, my video was the only video that survived initially because I kept my distance from all those cameras that were getting seized and protesters arrested. Two demonstrations of which these folks are not a part. But one solution I've been thinking about for something like that would be something I discovered, strangely enough, in zombie games. Uh, I call it the pile. So uh, whenever you have a group that's doing something together, they take kind of all the stuff they don't really need or want that badly, and they put it in one pile somewhere that's out of the way. By the way, notice, isn't it nice how, I mean, we don't have to put our flag at half staff. We don't have to be in perpetual mourning. Uh, flags, control, like these guys. More of our folks showing it, showing up. I think she just may be stopping and asking questions, but I'm not sure. Something else that this the sort of camera chain approach can do, if you're the guy on the periphery of the chain, like the farthest away from the event, you can sort of sometimes trigger, I mean, a, a whole separate event, like what happened to me in Concord, where a cop came up to me and threatened me for videotaping him and audio taping him, uh, just because I was sort of off across the street from a demonstration not much bigger than this one. It created a whole separate viral video. Okay, so... FPS is here, looks like. That's probably a Federal Protective Services guy. My body! My property! 
you've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.